Who is Tom Laird? I am the, uh, I'm the CEO of Expedia Interaction Marketing. The awesome thing about customer experience today is that I get to be extremely creative in this space. My company gets to be extremely creative in this space. So I think, you know, being invited to be in the room where it happened is, is a real honor for me. The journey with NICE has been totally unique. I don't know how you could survive today with an on-prem solution. Like there, there's, I, I can't fathom it. Everything in the cloud is, it's kind of like a, a grocery store, right? You're just like, hey, I want that. Let's put that in. Let's do this. Let's do that. So, you know, when, when you can wow a customer and it, wowing customers is hard, right? Then with the technology that's out there today, uh, you really have to do some special things to, to make sure that you know, you're doing something different. Speech Analytics has been the number one revenue generator for us. We incent our associates and pay our associates off of sentiment. So I can tell my clients 100% we are treating your customers the right way, we're using the right words, um, the phrases that we're using, the tone that we're using is proper because they see these reports every single day on the tone and the sentiment of our agents. We have a retail toy company that when they launch a new product, they will put in a, a, one, a specific 1-800 number into the product that says, hey, if you have any problems, call this number. So we can track that skill and we can tell them things like, hey, you know, 35% of your customers over the last two months used the phrase too expensive when it came to this product that they just purchased. We have a couple kind of spin-off companies as well that we've we've utilized nice with too. One is Expedia Digital, where we are working with some more digital aspects of, of Discord and looking at Reddit um, and looking at different communities. So we figured out a way of, of using virtual agents to close cases after every time somebody talks. So now we have full analytics on customers' discords. So everything from trending keywords to sentiment scores, uh, looking at the server overall, each channel, and even to each specific community member. So building community profiles, understanding who the jerks are in your Discord, understanding who the great people are that we want to kind of promote. Now brands are coming into the space, right? From the Budweiser's to Starbucks to all of these, these Gucci. For me, I think this is awesome. This has been, one, it's one of the few times in, in really the industry that I can remember that I have a chance to differentiate totally based on the technology that I utilize. There's a mass confusion over, especially in my niche of CX in the BPO space, of how do we utilize AI. This is the biggest opportunity for creativity in the, the contact center and in the BPO space because nobody knows what they're doing. AI is great at analyzing. I wanna be able to, to go in there and be like, hey, um, hey, what were my service levels yesterday on these five products um, or these five skills? What were the lowest CSAT agents and can you create some learning modules for these guys by 10 o'clock so that that doesn't happen again today? Those types of things I think are coming. The best thing that I can say with, 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 with how things are changing is we, are, we no longer call ourselves a contact center. Um, I think saying that we just have agents that answer calls is totally wrong. We, we now have to become customer experience providers for our clients. But this is one of the best times to be alive. I mean, the speed at which things have changed has just been amazing to me and, and has always really baffled me and kind of blown my mind at the same time. I'm looking at some more advanced things because I'm trying to figure out what's next. So if I have to say something in the kind of in the room where it happened and I want to kind of speak to, to all the BPOs out there, so many of the BPOs are, are struggling right now to, to understand what's happening in the space, to understand they're scared, right? They're scared that, that AI is going to totally decimate their business. And, you know, I just want to say you, you don't have to be scared, uh, but you have to change the model.